что здесь очень много озер. Я знаю, как... Я знаю пять. Это одно из них. Funny difference is that Germans, when they meet someone, they always give the shake hands, and Ukrainians don't do it. So in the beginning, okay. they're like, "Hello," and they were like, "Oh." <laughs> so, but then I looked in my little travel book, and they said, "Ukrainians don't shake hands. Don't be offended. They just don't do it." Приходилось сюда добираться автобусом, когда уже дело шло к тому, что мы переезжаем. Я первый раз села на маршрутку и прошла с этой дорожкой. Но мне понравилось. Just when you walk through um when you walk through Kiev and, and I have never seen something like this. There are so many monuments of, of people who lived in places or have been to places. There was one house I saw, I don't remember where, in the Soviet Soviet style from the 30s or so or 40s. And there was 25 reliefs um, of, of people, males mostly, who had lived there. Mm -hmm. And um, I think there is this uh, definitely this thing about places being charged by people who had lived there, had spent it some time, had done something. Whether or not this is um, justified or whether they really did something, it is also it's also about a projection. That's why I definitely could relate to this to this outline of Alexina's project. 2001, 2002, the winter campaign of H and M, which is also omnipresent in the West. Um, Claudia Schiffer was everywhere, mm -hmm. bigger, smaller, and the photos, I mean, she looked a little bit like Brigitte Bardot in the 70s, her hair was made up like this, and then she looked like a Barbie doll also, you could see that her legs and the body was manipulated, and um, it was in the newspaper that men uh, caused car accidents because of this. Men oh. also stole the poster, so I mean, it just made me angry that she is obviously manipulated, it's not even her, and then, okay, you have to be or I should be like this, what is this about? So, <laughs> then I said, okay, you can get it. <laughs> yeah. And it was January and I looked horrible, and, uh -huh. uh, and I didn't get, get any makeup, and uh, we had in the, um, I still have contact with people from the Art uh, Academy in East Berlin, so I went to the photo photography studio and um, the photographer likes me a lot, so we, so, so we did it. And I got the, the original underwear. So we were supposed to show our work in a department, uh, the bookstore, bookstore. And uh, he calls his store, um, not a bookstore, he calls it Kulturkaufhaus, which means cultural department store or culture department store. Mm -hmm. When I put them out there um, and I saw them, I had to shock myself. <laughs> I was like, <gasps> What, what, did I do? what have I done, really? And um, it was very funny at the time because people who knew me, or or like my my ex-boyfriend at the time, he called me like, oh, Steph, God, I saw you on this display. It really, um, I mean, not just a personal thing, but it was uh, you because it was me because I was not with makeup. You suddenly could, almost to a degree that it hurts, see this degree of exposure. I mean. It's underwear and in Claudia Schiffer, I don't know how she's actually doing it. I was thinking about this myself afterwards. On the other hand, when your whole body is being manipulated and two little teenage girls, like 16-year-old girls from the outskirts of Berlin were standing in front of it and they looked at it for a long time and then one of them said, but she is not really beautiful, is she? But they were thinking for a long time. <laughs> So, I mean, just because I use this language um, of this advertising photography, but then I don't look like a model, it really confused people. And most women were like, yes, eventually somebody's doing some, something about me.